All right, this ride is going to be on the Vulcan S. My first time being on a cruiser that isn't a Harley, which is going to be pretty cool. It is definitely a very stylish looking bike for sure. I love the little red accent that's going on there. It looks sick. Nice little key placement right there. Good dashboard. Not TFT. We're in neutral now, so we'll go ahead and see what she sounds like. First start up. Oh my. You know what this is? Sounds like? I'll put the specs up right here, but I believe this is a, a Ninja 650 or that little Z650 wrapped up in a cruiser style packet. That is a comfortable seat. Handlebar position is super nice. This feels super comfortable. The mirror placement is freaking awesome. They don't look very cool. I would definitely want to swap them out for something better, but definitely have plenty of visibility. Foot pegs are more like mid to forward, and they actually are in a pretty good spot. We'll see once we get riding. All right. Let the good times roll, huh? All right. Thanks again to Santa Maria cool. Kawasaki for cool. hooking us up with this. We do not get these very often. Vulcan S. All right. Let's give her hell. KLR 650. Oh wow, that sounds so weird. This almost sounds like an electric vehicle, guys. That is crazy weird. That is so quiet. You can't ride a hog that's quiet. I think that's like against some kind of law. Woo! I'll put to this seat position though. Holy crap, this is some comfy ass riding right here. Oh yeah, good power delivery. I like it. It's pretty smooth and mellow, but there's definitely plenty of it, that's for sure. The last cruiser I rode was a Harley Davidson Sportster, the 1200, and that thing was a freaking blast, but... Oh, I <laughs> picked the feet up. <laughs> All right. That is so weird. It is so strange, guys. I feel like I'm riding a, a sport bike, but yet it's a freaking cruiser, and this is one hell of a comfortable one. Oh man, I would throw, totally throw a visor on this thing. Man, I thought the Sport Nakeds were comfy. This shit's dope. Oh yeah, we got plenty of freaking get up and go. So fourth gear, there we go. Let's get her into sixth gear. Oh yeah, she drops all the way down to 5,000 RPMs. This is definitely good cruising speed, good cruising RPMs. I don't feel any vibey, vibeness going on at all in here. It actually is very comfy and very smooth feeling very smooth operating you're definitely not going to get that nostalgic vibe from you do on like a harley or something like that but hell that's okay you don't need it god this foot position is dope though hell yeah this is freaking comfort right here i don't know man every single bike so far is feeling like it should be my next bike Oh, I just got to remember to put the feet forward and not back. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. She definitely feels like she wants to get up and go with no problem, guys. I don't know, man. A Japanese Harley. A Japanese cruiser? Is that what you call I don't even know what you would call this style of bike. Oh, but man, do I have a weird time getting my feet up on those pegs. They're really comfortable though, guys. I mean, they're not paddles. They're, I could see if they're, they're not like little metal pegs. They're actually soft and rubber. Hell yeah, this is cool. <laughs> this is a luxury riding right here, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully we'll get up to speed. You know what is really cool too was the last bike I rode that would I would say is similar to this is the Harley Street Bob. That thing was freaking dope. But what really sucked about it is when you got on that throttle, you went sliding right off the back of it, which totally sucked. This thing, the seat is totally grabbing my ass. It's super comfy and soft. It feels like it's like a gel pad. I wouldn't be replacing the seat at all. This is freaking legit. Now I could say that like the legs being out like that and away from the bike, yeah, if it was cold, you'd be freezing your freaking ass off. I think we're rolling around 60s right now, 60th degrees. It's feeling pretty nice. Good old California weather. Very comfortable. Man, this thing just feels so stable and planted, man. 
Like if it had cruise control, I wouldn't even be touching these handlebars. I'd just be back here, hands behind my head, freaking not trying not to fall asleep. This shit's so comfortable. It's like a couch, man. This is a recliner, a recliner for the road. But I will say, it is a cruiser. It needs to have some sound in the motor. And this thing does not have any sound, guys. This is uh, like the quietest freaking motorcycle I've ridden in a long time. It almost feels like it's electric. I wonder what kind of exhaust you put on this thing. Do you go and you get a Akrapovic or a freaking Yosh? Or do you gotta buy some cool like uh, Harley style one, you know? Or would it be like weird? I don't know. I don't know. But I'll say this thing is comfortable as shit we'll see when we get to the old windy roads out here oh i keep doing that i want to put my feet straight down and that's a terrible idea all right let's give her a little beans here yeah yeah dude totally a street motorcycle a super a sport bike wrapped into a cruiser fairing cruiser styled bike very unique i kind of like it this definitely feels better than the Harleys I've ridden. It feels more uh, refined. I mean, it's not as nice, you know, as a Harley, I guess, you know? Sure, you could argue that the Harley's nostalgia and all that fun BS is, oh yeah, shoots up and goes. And that was a six gear pole right there. We're already going freaking almost 90. Six gear pole, holy crap. She's got tons of torque. You're not gonna worry about ripping through traffic. And she's narrow enough too. Like last time I rode Harleys, always felt like it was a little, like they're wide, like you couldn't split lanes. This thing, I feel like I would have no problem doing that, which is cool. Cause that's pretty much how you ride here in California if you wanna get around, guys. So who do I think this thing's for? And I'm not gonna say I would think that this is a beginner bike at all. It is very manageable power wise though. This is not like insane at all. Nothing's like launching you into outer space or trying to wheelie itself into hell. It, this, is, this is good manageable power, but there is a lot of it. So, I mean, it's kind of like saying that the, the Ninja 650 is a, you know, a good beginner bike and, and it's pretty close to being a good beginner bike. It's got a little more power than you probably need. I'd say once again, my favorite way to think about it is would I let my kid ride this who's 16 who's about to get his motorcycle license? And that answer is no, I think it's too much power for him. So take that with a grain of salt. Do I think it's a beginner bike? Meh, not really. I think you should be looking at something a little bit smaller in the cruiser category. Foot pegs are pushed a little bit more forward. It's a little bit more nerve wracking position to ride in if you're brand new and you're a beginner and you don't need to be thinking about stupid stuff. You need to be thinking about riding. So I would say maybe this would be bike number two for you and a good option for it after you've rode something else. But once again, there's no better way to, oh, look at that. Yeah, oh, there we go. Let's talk about some suspension. Yeah. All right. So this is, uh, it's like uh, you're on this couch and you're still just freaking floating along, man. That Sportster I rode, that thing, you were just banging around. Oh, yeah. You can short shift this thing quite nicely. Nice. Feels pretty good leaned over. Not going to lie. Wonder if I'll drag some pegs here. Hopefully not. Oh yeah, hell yeah. This feels freaking dope. Uh oh, somebody's burning some clutch up there. Oh yeah, this feels freaking awesome. Oh yeah, we got plenty of ground clearance here, guys. Oh, we're getting close with her. Oh yeah, she was almost on the ground. All right. Definitely have good clearance. This is like no joke. Freaking back roads, freaking champion for cruisers right here. Like that sports star, I was grinding them pegs when I was riding it. This thing it has still plenty of clearance left when I'm getting it leaned over. So yeah, plus one for the Vulcan. Get out on some back roads and have some fun. Like when I was dragging the pegs on that freaking sports star, that shit freaking scared the crap out of me, man. I just keep waiting for it to hit and it's not <laughs> oh cool good fun guys this is good fun i don't know man it, it's hard to to push americans away from the harleys honestly but 
Man, why? Well, I would rather have this than a Harley. I don't care if I get made fun of. A nice little windscreen on the front of this, some bags on the back. Here is your commuter. This is cool. I'll put the miles per gallon up here. The Kawasaki's are pretty decent with some fuel mileage. This is just the inline two, little 650 motor. So yeah, it's not, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good on fuel mileage. This little motors that are in these, these are stout. These are known to last. This would be a great little freaking commuter that you're gonna put a ton of miles on and not to worry about it. Now, something a little strange about it is we are chain driven. So you're gonna have to be doing the constant just like a normal motorcycle. Every 600 miles, you need to be adjusting that thing. But I don't, it's hard to say whether or not I'd rather have a chain than a belt. Uh, just because of all the motorcycles I've had in the past, the chain is annoying because you're constantly adjusting it and lubing it and cleaning it. And yeah, that may get old, but I do feel a hell of a lot safer knowing it's a chain and not some kind of belt that's going to grab a rock and go freaking bouncing off. But I guess in the long run, maybe a belt slapping around is going to be a little less damaging to your body parts, I guess, than than a chain would i could only imagine if a chain broke and popped off you're talking like you're losing chunks of leg man so i don't know pretty interesting pretty unique thought process that this is basically a sport bike it is super fun on the back roads i love the motor it is very easy to man it's very manageable but yet it still has plenty of power and grunt in it it feels nice throughout the rev range versus like being in lower rpms where you, the bike just starts lugging like crazy like the harleys would do that to me like crazy and i just didn't like it where if you weren't in the right gear on that sportster it rode like ass and it let you know you're in the wrong gear this thing is it's less to worry about you just ride it and have some fun yeah good pull baby and she short shifts so good. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Plenty of power right here. Love it, loving it. Good decision, guys. If you like cruiser style bikes, this is a good decision. This is fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate you in the comment sections with all the good things you guys have to say. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. It helps out immensely with the channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Sure. Freaking awesome. That was a fun run, guys. This is a cool bike.